All right, we have here a Bell Model 2420 stereo integrated tube amplifier, and we are going to do a basic check of a filter capacitor. Now you got to watch when you check these capacitors. We're using a scope. We just do a basic check with the scope, and uh, here's our scope going on the bench. And um, this is the capacitor we're going to be checking. Let's see, right here. This one right here. Now what you need to watch is this is your input coming from the rectifier tube. You can see it is this red wire goes right to the rectifier. So when you put the scope on this one, you're going to see a rather large spike, but it shouldn't be larger than the screen. You're going to have your scope set at 2 volts uh, per centimeter. And um, it shouldn't be, you know, taller than the screen. It should actually, ideally, it should be like maybe half the size of the screen. Um, these other two sections, this one, this is a three-section capacitor. These other two sections are after dropping resistors. So they should have little to no ripple at uh, 2 volts a centimeter. Actually, this one over here is the one that goes to the output tubes. That one, it's, it's, since it's only one stage after the initial one, sometimes you see a little bit little bit of ripple there, but it, sh it shouldn't be a lot. It's just very, very little. And this one you should see almost none, if, uh, if not zero. So we'll... Uh, get the scope hooked up and we'll show you what it looks like. Get the amp, power, the amp is off right now. We'll get it powered up and we'll, sh we'll show you what this looks like. Okay, we have very carefully grounded our scope to that screw sticking up right next to the filter cap. And we're going to go on the initial stage. This is Remember, this is coming straight from the rectifier. You see the red wire going right to the rectifier too. And we've got the scope set to 2 volts a centimeter. We're going to see what we, what we show on the scope. Okay, you can see on the screen, she set the 2 volts a centimeter, and we have just about a full screen of this uh, sharp, jagged spike, which is the uh, the uh, input from the rectifier tube, and th this is normally, you know, it, it, this could be normal. Uh, you know, I'm not totally familiar with this bell amplifier, but this could, uh, this could totally be normal. I didn't check the capacitor as far as disconnecting it and checking for capacitance. We're just strictly going by what we see on the scope. Most important is going to be the next two stages. So we go to the next stage, move this off, and we'll get it on here. All right, that's the stage that goes to the uh, output tubes. And as you can see, very little ripple. That's really good. And we go to the third stage, and you can see it's flat as a pancake. This is, this is really good. This means this filter cap is really good. Um, the other test is um, if it gets warm. Uh, if it gets warm within, uh, you know, you got to be careful it's not conducting heat from the chassis. If it gets warm long before the chassis has time to get warm, it's probably bad. And then if you let it go and it gets really hot, it can overheat and actually blow out the bottom and it creates a big mess. And it's, uh, it'll be a cleanup job you don't need. So that's the basics on how to check a filter capacitor with a scope. Now we have another cap over here. We're going to check that one. We're going to very carefully remove this ground. And we're going to ground ourselves right over here. You've got to be careful with that alligator clip. Don't pop off and touch something hot. All right, this one right here is actually the um, the um, Capacitor for the uh, the bypass capacitor for the uh, cathode bias, so we don't worry too much. I, I disconnected that and checked it. Check that. That's perfect. It's got plenty of capacitance, and these two are power supply. As you can see, flat as a pancake, no ripple. And the other one, also nice and flat, not even the slightest trace of ripple. Now, mind you, this amplifier is from 1961. And uh, that beautiful, we got the amp upside down, obviously, the beautiful red, how that lights up. We cleaned it all up. This thing is gorgeous. Um, 
1961, and those filter caps are still checking like new. So all this bullshit about automatically changing the filter caps is exactly that. It's bullshit. Nothing is like the original filter cap. As long as they're good, you just leave them alone. Um, the new capacitors don't even have the temperature rating these do. They're, they're rated 55 degrees C. Most of the old ones are 85, 80, 85 degrees C because of the tube equipment. And they're just not going to last as long. I'm sorry. The, the original one, especially Fisher capacitors. But, and this is a belt. And uh, they apparently used a very high quality capacitor also. So there you have it. That is your basics on how to check a filter cap uh, with an oscilloscope. This one is a Tektronix 2247A. We have the luxury of our uh, voltage settings and all this stuff right, right on the screen. Man. It's a really, really sexy little scope. Anyway, uh, that's how you do it, and uh, of course there's, there's more. You could also disconnect everything and check for actual capacitance and uh, leakage and all sorts of stuff. But this is a basic. If the capacitor isn't getting hot and uh, your scope is happy uh, with what it sees, you're, you're pretty much okay. And you don't hear any hum and there's no issues with the amp. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about them being old. And uh, automatic mass replacement is ignorant and uh, not a good idea. Okay, till next time. This is the Bell 2420. We were checking the uh, filter capacitors on. We got it hooked up to our uh, system here. We we'll see the player in our, our uh, big speakers and um, these are the two capacitors. This is one and this is the other one and this one is 40 microfarads 40 microfarads 20 microfarads at 450 volts and this one is like 40 40 and there's a 500 for the um at low voltage like 25 volts at for the uh cathode for the uh, output tubes here's the four brand new output tubes you got all telefunken 12 ax7s in there smooth plates it's a little rough the chassis but uh, we brought this thing back from the dead this thing is completely restored it was uh, found in junk it was going to be thrown away and completely resurrected um, cleaning a face panel just a wet sponge with ammonia this anodized strip comes off it was all filthy black dirty and uh, you do that with Fisher face panels too with these anodized aluminum panels ammonia doesn't hurt the lettering but the dirt just melts away. So um, that's that. That's how you check, rudimentary check a filter cap. It's been on for a while now and pass it as cool as a cucumber, which is a very good sign. If it's open, it's also cool as a cucumber, but then you'd be getting ripple on the scope. So these are ways you can, like I said, do rudimentary, but yet pretty reliable checks. Okay, good luck with your project.